Hey everybody, this is Peter Malik at the 2015 NAM show. We're right here checking out the latest and greatest in gear. Come on in and let's geek out together. I'm here on the floor of the NAM show 2015. I'm with Ralph Goldheim of Arturia and we are looking at the Audio Fuse. The Audio Fuse, new interface from Arturia. It looks like there's a whole lot of stuff in a small package. So I'm funny you should say that because that's really at the end of the conclusion, most people say that's exactly what's going on. But let me go through this as an overview so everybody gets an idea of what the interface really is. First of all, most people ask, why would you even do an interface? It's a crowded market. There's, you know, there's interfaces everywhere by every other company. The folks at Arturia decided that they wanted to do something different, go into the market, they asked customers what they wanted. Customers said, we're not really very happy with the interfaces, they just do what they're, it's a mic free into a computer, it doesn't do anything more than that. So the concept was, there's three parts, workflow, connectivity, and performance. So the first thing is workflow. So if you're a songwriter, or you're working in a studio, you want to have a workflow where the unit actually enhances what you're doing, if you're songwriting or recording. So this is a control top interface. All the things that you're going to interface on are actually at the top. So mic line input, your pad, the 48 volts, this is all set up here. Master monitor for your headphones, you can pick what you want to listen to. It's got talk back, which is really unusual for an interface. This also has AB speaker switching. So if you've got your Genelex and your NS10s, you want to go back and forth. I think you need a different box to do that in most other places. So if you put it all on here, and on, as you can notice, you'll have the headphones, and I was just listening to headphones with my iPad or my iPhone, I don't know where my adapter is, and I don't want to stop and go look for it. So you can plug it right in here. So it's really friendly to how people are actually going to record. So that's, that's the workflow enhancement. Then you go to Connectivity. So we've got line inputs, speaker A and B, phono, which is RAAA. You've got, uh, this is your USB input, USB hub. What do you use that for? Get rid of cables, because on the desktop, we're plugging everything in everywhere, and this reduces the cable mess. Inserts, MIDI built into the box. The cable adapters come with it. SB diff. ADAT in and out. So it looks like a 2x2 two two box, but it's really a 12x12. 12 12. People go, oh wow, that's, that's a lot of stuff that's in here. Yeah. Then you go to performance, which is how good is it really? Well, the EIN specs on this are 129. So this will be working at MESA and we'll be shipping it in May, but these specs are outstanding for this type of product. And the round trip going to the computer and back is slated at three milliseconds. So you're getting, you know, FireWire is seven milliseconds best, okay? USB on other products is probably gonna be 10 to 15 milliseconds. That's nominal. This is three milliseconds, which gets it into the realm of Thunderbolt, which is everybody wants. But Thunderbolt isn't on everything. Thunderbolt's on Macintosh, on Apple. So what about all the PC players and laptops? Well, that's why it's USB. So the concept is you don't stop your flow and work with a computer screen to make all your adjustments. It's got the connectivity for iOS and, and Android and PC and Mac and whatever, whatever you want. And the performance is extremely good. So in a small format package. So why can't your interface be a trophy piece just like you would have your trophy speakers, your trophy mixer, your trophy microphone, don't you really want to have an interface on your desktop that looks good, that you'd be happy to show whoever's in your studio with? Plus the fact they come in three different color sets that are very stylish. Put the, cat, the lid on and you can carry it around because these are very easy to move around. So projected map at 549, it's, it's a great price for how much you get. That's an impressive little box. Not so little actually. There's a lot going on in that little box. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Peter.